Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Gelbert, and today we're going to do a brief video tutorial on how to do lower extremity DVT ultrasound using the Zanari Z1 Pro ultrasound system. Patients frequently come into the emergency department with lower extremity pain, swelling, and frequently one of the most common things that we need to and want to diagnose quickly is a DVT or a deep venous thrombosis. Today we're going to go over the main indications, the different landmarks and techniques that you're going to be using, as well as some of the features on the ultrasound machine here uh, with the Z1 Pro about how to optimize image quality and see exactly what you need to see to make the correct diagnosis. Since people's BMIs vary considerably, you want to use a linear transducer, but one that's at a little bit lower of a frequency than you would use for traditional musculoskeletal and soft tissue applications. So I like the L83 here with the Z1 Pro. Now you're going to apply gel to the transducer, and then you want to just make sure that you have the, the correct uh, landmarks and the correct orientation for the actual screen. You'll see that there is a probe indicator on one side of the transducer and you want that on the patient's right side and that correlates with the Z here on the left side of the screen on the Z1 Pro. So you want to have the patient supine but also with the head about 30 to 45 degrees elevated in order for blood to pool in the veins and to easier diagnose um, the vascular structures and identify what you need to see. You want to place the patient with a small amount of external rotation in order to easily access high and up, up on the leg to actually see the different landmarks anatomically that you need to see. So what we are going to do is we're going to go into the folds of the groin and in order to do this correctly, you don't want to be tilting like this. You want to be 90 degrees and perfectly perpendicular because what's important is that you can actually compress what you're seeing. You would hate to be compressing something and there being a clot a little bit higher up that you're actually not being able to see. Now, the main ways that we diagnose DVT on ultrasound are the lack of compressibility and the actual visualization of a clot within the lumen of the vein. So I'm going to slide my probe up to the level of the greater saphenous vein that enters the common femoral vein from the medial aspect and I'm going to go just superior to that so that I know that I'm on the common femoral vein. Now we're going to apply full compression to obliterate the lumen of the, of the vein and we can see that the artery is still beating and I'm going to release completely and then move down one centimeter to the level of the saphenous vein and completely compress and here, as I go down the leg, you'll notice that there are multiple vessels now. The femoral artery bifurcates before the femoral vein, and you'll be able to see that on the screen. As you compress, you'll now see that there are three lumens, and that goes down to two. So I'm compressing the, the femoral vein at this point, and I'm going to continue to go down, usually at the level of the lateral perforator, where the femoral vein also splits into the deep and superficial femoral veins. I'm going to continue to apply graded compression, releasing completely between each compression and then moving distally one centimeter. I'm going to continue to do that until the vein goes into the adductor canal. Now I can follow this down all the way using slow graded compression and looking just for any hyperechoic things that would be in the actual vein itself. So now that we've reached the level of the adductor canal, we're going to go posterior to the knee, to the popliteal fossa. You'll notice that frequently you'll have to increase your depth on your ultrasound machine as the popliteal vein and artery run a little bit deeper than they do when you're imaging the leg from above. So I'm going to go down on my depth and use my optimize button here on the Z1 Pro to get the best image that I can. In order for me to access this easily, I'm going to use my offhand to provide some counter pressure. You apply a small amount of pressure in order to actually visualize the vascular structures and then you're going to perform full compression of the vein just as you did from above. And I can see that I have two vessels, one vein and one artery. Now, the popliteal vein usually runs above or more superficial to the popliteal artery and we frequently say that the pop is on top. 
At this point, I will apply compression, and you'll notice that the only thing that I see here is just the popliteal artery. I'm going to continue to go down. The popliteal vein will split into three vessels. Those three vessels are the anterior and posterior tibial veins, as well as the perineal vein. At this level, I will also fully compress, and you'll notice that there's still only one vessel patent, and all of the other veins have been completely obliterated. You can see how easy it is to perform full leg lower extremity DVT ultrasound in the emergency department. With the superb image quality and with the great Doppler of the Z1 Pro, I'm really able to uh, make an accurate diagnosis and I hope that you enjoy this video. Mm -hmm.